is so thrilling to welcome you to Jacob's Music Center, the home of the San Diego Symphony. This season, we are presenting some of the greatest masterworks as well as new discoveries. I'm so happy that we put together programs of something that very special to myself, something that I felt very deeply, something that I have done it many times in my entire career, and I want to present it one more time to the audience of San Diego. For me, those repertoire represent something about the greatness, the most profound of what can be created by a human being, composers who wrote those. And those are very, very special and can be stirring to everybody's soul. Hi, my name is Leila Zamora, and I'm the contrabassoonist and third bassoon of the San Diego Symphony. We're very excited about next season. We're gonna be playing Mahler's Sixth Symphony. I love this symphony, it's my favorite. It's a very powerful symphony, and it has a massive amount of um, woodwinds and um, beautiful solos all around. I can't wait to see you with the San Diego Symphony and our dear maestro, Jajalin. My name is Kate Hatmaker, and I'm a violinist in the San Diego Symphony, and I'm most excited about next season's programs, especially the inclusion of so many new works, including uh, West Coast premieres and even a couple of U.S. premieres. I'm very excited because this season we're featuring at least four very young soloists. Those are Yu Jia Wang, Sarah Cheng, Alicia Weilerstein, and Johannes Muse. And I don't think you want to miss this. The 2015-16 season is exciting for many reasons. It was really put together with a lot of care and love and you, the audience, in mind. One thing, in addition to Yakya Ling's programs as our music director, we will feature guest conductors in this season, each one bringing their own style and their own imagination to programs that they have created with us. In addition to our guest conductors, we also have monumental guest soloists. Among those, of course, is Midori, the wonderful violinist who will come and perform with the orchestra, led by another of our guest conductors, Rory McDonald. What I love about the construction of a season is the interconnections that evolve. We have a bit of a family affair this year. Alyssa Weilerstein will be playing with our own Jeff Thayer, the Brahms Double Concerto and her brother, Joshua Weilerstein, will be one of our guest conductors. Hi, I'm Rose Lombardo. I'm the principal flutist with the San Diego Symphony, and I'm very excited to be making my debut solo performance on the 2015-16 Masterworks series. I will be performing the Nielsen Flute Concerto, and it will be part of a celebration of Nielsen's 150th birthday anniversary. Um, I'm especially excited because I will be performing with Josh Weilerstein, um, who I actually studied with in Boston um, as part of the New England Conservatory Youth Orchestra program. In January, we will be launching a four-week tribute to an instrument, the piano. The piano is an interesting subject because it plays many roles. And we will be looking at all aspects of this instrument through the lens and the fingers of several great artists, Marc-Andre Hamelin, Jeremy Denk, and Horacio Gutierrez, not to mention our own pianist in residence, Hia Hia Ling, and his wonderful pianist wife, Jesse Cheng. One great aspect of this festival is the number of organizations and individuals we will collaborate with, including our friends at the La Jolla Music Society who will present a performance here at the Jacobs Music Center as part of the festival. One program I'm particularly excited about is scheduled for this fall and features a work by the young Brooklyn composer, Judd Greenstein who I've had the pleasure of working with in the past through my chamber music organization, Art of Elan. And Judd wrote this really cool piece a few years ago called Change. And it's, it was originally for chamber music ensemble, and we presented it here a few years ago. 
And it's just such a cool piece, terribly colorful and rhythmic and groovy. And so I was thrilled when I found out that the San Diego Symphony co-commissioned Judd, along with the North Carolina Symphony, to orchestrate this piece for, full, for the full symphony. And I think it'll be really neat to see how that translates to the full symphonic uh, complement here at Copley Symphony Hall. And I hope this is an indication of the direction we're going with more innovative programming and more new works in the future. But at the very least, I encourage you to come check out the concert this fall, along with all the other exciting programs this season. On January 9th, we will bring a new audience development presentation to our stage. Originally created by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, Jared McBurney, creative director, the Beyond the Score series has been immensely successful, both in Chicago and around the nation. This performance will feature Mussorgsky's pictures from an exhibition, which of course the composer wrote originally for the piano and it was later orchestrated by Maurice Ravel. In this presentation, there'll be what is essentially a live documentary on the first half with actors and performers, including our orchestra, and the second half of the concert, you will hear Mussorgsky's work in its entirety. This orchestra has already blossomed into a very unique and special ensemble. What I like to build here is that this orchestra will be able to play the repertoire the closest to what the composer's intention. The sound quality of a great American orchestra combined with the great European sound of warmth, of articulation, of transparency, of the dynamic level, all those things that create something unique expressing each composer of the original intention. An important part of the culture of an orchestra is to be a good partner and citizen of its community. This year, the San Diego Symphony Orchestra will perform in locations such as Escondido, Poway, and San Isidro, in addition to Balboa Park as part of the anniversary celebration. Our musicians regularly go into community centers, schools, and hospitals in many of our neighborhoods. Within this season, we have invited members of the San Diego arts community to join us and partner with us on this stage. David Dansmeyer leads such a collaboration with the Malachok Dance Company, performing a new work that we've commissioned by the wonderful composer, Gabriella Frank. Later on in that same program, we hear Stravinsky's ballet, The Firebird. In addition to the San Diego Symphony Orchestra concerts, we will soon be announcing a number of other presentations and performances here, including jazz, world music, film, and other genres. What we want to ensure more than anything is that there is always something for you here at the Jacobs. This season, we will present the most heartfelt and my favorite repertoire, which everybody would enjoy. I would love to see you here in this beautiful hall.